All right, we're heading out for a wedding this weekend and I wanted to kind of go over the support gear that we use and the bag that we're currently using because I'm packing everything up, I might as well make a quick video showing you what's in our luggage bag. So um, I've kind of went through a change. We originally used a longer uh, bag by Newer, didn't like it. This is the Manfrotto roller bag or a trolley bag really good for lighting system, but it works for all of our support gear for weddings. So anything that's not gonna be camera based, it's not gonna be battery based, uh, pretty much what we can film an entire wedding without. If we can go without it and successfully shoot a wedding, then it will go in this bag. So technically it's tripods, light stands, uh, gimbal, things that are helpful for a wedding, but it's not required for us to actually shoot a wedding. We're gonna keep all that with our travel bag that's gonna be going on as a carry-on whenever we're flying. So. This is gonna be checked. Uh, now, whenever we're considering a luggage uh, piece of gear for our weddings, it's gotta hit three things. We've gotta, we're considering size, we're considering weight, and then we're also gonna be considering organization. So this uh, Manfrotto bag is awesome. This is the LW88W. Uh, so it's the version two, so it's a little more robust and it works really well. So we're gonna go over it. I'm gonna kinda show you, as you can tell, this thing is, Great, I mean, it's also under 50 pounds, so I can carry it like this, works really good. It's got great rollers, uh, wheels, and um, honestly, it's, I think it's a great piece of gear. Uh, the biggest issue that I had was whenever we rented a, um, a car, I could never fit the large item that we had. This for size is about uh, 33 inches by 11 inches by 16 inches. So it's all around 60 inches in full length, which falls under the 62 inch mark for luggage at um, airlines. Uh, also weight wise, this is only about 11 pounds, which is great because if you think about like think tanks that are about 20 pounds, I need to have something that's light, but also very strong and robust so that I can put all my gear in it and it withstands everything as we're traveling. So. Um, size, weight, and then we're gonna dive in and go through organization. I'm gonna show you all the pieces of gear that we have in this luggage and um, as I'm packing for this wedding this weekend. And um, hopefully this is helpful. Let's check it out. As you can see, it's uh, about this tall. It's actually pretty great. Um, and it rolls extremely well. Uh, I love it uh, for airports and I can fit this in a, um, rental vehicle as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. All right, so this is all the gear that we use for weddings. Um, and this is the support gear. So I'm gonna have my tripods, monopod. I'm gonna have a gimbal. I even have the Tilta advanced ring grip that I have in here. I've got my Ronin uh, RS2, and then I've got a light and aperture 60X and uh, a lot of pan heads and tilt heads and all that stuff. So let's go ahead, take everything out, and then I'm gonna show you how I put everything in, how I pack it, and how condensed this is. Cause this holds everything and it's crazy. So let's go ahead and pull out this. That's one part of it. This is going to be the Ronin RS2. And then we have the Aperture 60X and uh, this thing fits right over there. I also have all of the pieces for that. So I have an extension cable, a DTAP extension cable, and then I have a, uh, a mount for the V-mount battery that I attach at the bottom of the light stand. So that goes in this pouch, which is super helpful. And then over here I have, in these little slots, these are my battery chargers. So I use these um, for charging all of our batteries. This covers Sony batteries, an S5 battery, and then an S1 battery. So I have everything I need for these pieces of gear in order to charge everything at weddings. Then I also have in this front pouch, my monitors. So this is our small HD monitors fit in this pouch right there. And then I have the monopod feet. That's just positioned there. Let's put that to the side. And then I've got all of my tools that I need to use, which for the most part, I can get by with everything. I have this really cool Peter McKinnon tool that is absolutely phenomenal for everything that I need at weddings, covers almost everything I need. And then let's go ahead and dive in. This is the Infrodo monopod. And uh, right here I have um, a arm so that I can pivot the pan head. And then also I have three pan heads 
tucked in here. So this one also has a, uh, a swivel mount, a base one, so that I can technically position it without having to extend one leg a little bit longer. I kind of have these mounted onto these pan heads and I have two of them and they work out really well. Then we go into our tripod. So I have a tripod here. So this is an enduro tripod. I have two of those fitting in here. And then I have the bottom plate for the tilter ring grip. So you can see that I have that positioned in here. Set that to the side. And then also I have these two light stands. Now, these light stands are pretty awesome because here, I'm gonna show you. What's really cool about these light stands is you can pull them apart real easily. And uh, I heard about these from uh, Larev Films. So Lindsay was telling me about this. You can pivot them side to side right here, lock them up. And this is by a brand called Kupo, I think. And then you can also position them vertically, which is why I use them because they're super minimal and they're not as long, but they go uh, seven feet tall. So this is actually really great. And I can easily position that where I want. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I have all these extra zipper packs if I want and one up here. But for the most part, that is everything here that I have that can travel in here and it stays under 50 pounds and it's all under 62 inches. However, if I did have it where I was overweight um, and uh, the airline was wanting to charge me for an extra fee, I just whip out one of these. This is my media pass. And it also has the fine print on the back so that they can't charge me or they can't overcharge me. So it's nice to have a media pass, but for the most part, I try to keep it under uh, 50 pounds and it falls under the 62 inch mark with this bag, including the wheels, which is really helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back uh, and then I'm gonna head off and get ready to finish packing for the wedding this weekend. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my light stands, make sure they're locked together. And I've kind of positioned them right here, which I love this organization a lot because you can kind of position everything. It comes with even more dividers than these, but these are the ones I'm currently using. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the feet part for the tilt ring there. Then I'm gonna grab one of the tripods. Uh, I'm just gonna split the legs a little bit so that I can put it in between around the leg there. I think that'll be good. Let's rotate it right there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, split the leg. That way it kind of fits right over it and it leaves space for the monopod when we wanna put that in there. Let's go ahead and put all of these pan heads locked in, which fits pretty nicely. And get everything in there. It's actually, and then I'm gonna put the monopod right there. Works out great. Then I'm gonna grab my Ronin RS2, which also has uh, my small HD monitor, also has the handles for the tilt to ring grip and everything. Unfortunately, I can't keep batteries in here because I'm traveling. Uh, it can't be in check bags, so it has to be carry on. So I take all the batteries out of everything, which can't go in here. Let's go ahead and grab the monitors. Put them right here. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and get these chargers placed in here. Working really nice. Okay. Everything's kind of at its own spot. And forgot these cables, which are for the chargers. And what's great is these kind of things hold up the back. You can kind of declip them if you want to. Keep them on there nicely. Uh, let's go ahead and put that handle there, and then the cables for the light. Let's put the light in here, get this all situated. And then also the clamp, get that shut in there. And then I just have to kind of position this where it kind of leans this way so it doesn't stick up so far whenever we're using that. And then also I have this this uh, top piece can come off, it would be so much better, but unfortunately it doesn't. So this is the best route I've got where it can lay flat. And then I just put the feet to the monopod here, reclip it, and everything has got its own place. Then we're gonna go ahead and shut it. You can see it doesn't really sit flat. However, it's got a little bit of an extra lip and it's got this really nice robust uh, piece there to keep it really secured. And I'm not stressing anything on the zipper, which is really nice. And you can actually put a lock 
on it too. So that's what's really helpful. Um, but overall, that's what you got. I'm gonna leave links to all the gear that you saw in this bag, all of our support gear, gimbals, tripods, light stands, and where you can pick up this bag. The cost is around $450, which is kind of a lot, but it's a lot more affordable than a think tank, uh, and it's also about half the weight. So it works really well. I've gone through two to three other pieces of luggage every year, and so hopefully this one withstands a lot more. It seems to be way better built and a lot more organization to keep all my gear secure, which is really helpful. I'll make a future video with our camera gear, uh, and what we bring on and what we carry on, including all the batteries that I have to place in that too. So make sure that you subscribe and like so that you can follow us uh, so that the next time we drop a video, you won't miss it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this little small version of a video was helpful to you all. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments. Later.